हेलो एवरीवन हाउ यू ऑल वेल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट पैशन एंड बेटर डिसीजन मेकिंग और राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट डू वॉट डज पैशन मीन पैशन मीन्स हैविंग एन अमटीन इंटरेस्ट ऑन डूइंग समथिंग समथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू विद अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग इज एज टू हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू यू नो अंडरटेक अ पर्टिकुलर टास्क वॉट आर द डिसीजन दैट यू नीड टू टेक एंड आर दोज डिसीजन्स करेक्ट और नॉट करेक्ट सो या सो हाउ डज ग्रफोलॉजी रिलेट टू हाउ डज हैंड राइटिंग रिलेट टू दीज एस्पेक्ट्स विच इज पैशन एंड बेटर डिसीजन मेकिंग ऑल राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू ऑफ द फॉर्म्स एंड फ्यू ऑफ द एल्फोबेट्स दैट एक्चुअली सिग्निफाई वॉट वॉट अ बेटर डिसीजन मेकिंग कैन बी एंड वॉट एंड हाउ पैशन कैन बी वर्कड अपॉन सो द फर्स्ट एल्फोबेट दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज एल्फोबेट आई so alphabet i is very good it it's supposed to be you know signifying a, a good self image so when you write a small alphabet i i'm showing you an example so these are the small i's that you write all right so we make a dot to the i right so when you make that dot usually what happens with a lot of people they keep a dot on the left side of the i okay if this is the i the dot is right here so what happens with them is these people are very lazy very lazy to undertake a task or you know very lazy to build an interest very lazy to think about few of the opinions so basically what are they doing they are procrastinating they are not they are basically delaying in doing the things they are not passionate about doing the things however second option is you are writing an i suppose this is the i and the dot is a lot on the upper side okay so these people are not very practical they are not logical they are not in the present life they always keep assuming that yeah uh, you know this is going to happen and things like that so uh, basically they are not in the present life and they are not very logical again they cannot be passionate about things that are so dreamy all right things that are not real you can't be passionate about them they have to be little practical the third option is this is an i and you put a dot towards the right all right why towards the right you think a lot ahead of the time you should not think a lot ahead of the time but you should be very balanced on thinking about your future you should not think like yeah five or six years down the line this is going to happen or you know things are going to improve or things like that no you have to be very logical practical think one year two year ahead of you that's about it so what happens when it when we think ahead of the time we have a tendency to uh, you know waste a lot of time why waste a lot of time rather use this time to know what your passion is to know how uh, you know how you can work on your passion so these are the three aspects of eyes that i told you however an ideal eye would be you write an eye and the dot is right here at the center it's not up it's not on the right it's not on the left it's right here the second aspect that i'm telling you about is about the pressure on the page now when we write all all individuals have different pressures on the page some people can have light one some people can have medium some people can have a heavy pressure so we start with the light pressure what happens now supposedly if a person has a very light pressure on the page basically there's no imprint behind the page so supposedly when I, if i'm writing here there's no you know a printing behind the page so that is actually a light handwriting so these people are you know mostly very restless they cannot sit at one place or they cannot focus on one thing to do a particular task their mind keeps deviating they do not give their 100% to any of the task that they undertake so basically they do not have passion for anything as such coming to the heavy one so when we write when we put extra pressure on the page while writing so these people have a tendency to go on and on for working they keep going on and on and do not stop while working at all they do not even remember if they have to drink water whether they are thirsty whether they are hungry nothing at all it's only the work so this is also a drawback however a medium pressure that has a quality of both the light and the heavy so this signifies 
that you know this person is doing a task but he also knows when to take a break he also knows when does his body need rest or you know he it needs a refreshment so in that ways it also enhances your uh, way way of working you know it enhances your result it enhances your productivity so it's always good to have a medium pressure handwriting all right you tend to know you know you tend to know you tend to figure out what your passions are how can you work on a particular thing whether you are capable of working on that so that ways your opinions are versatile so this was the second one the third one is about the loops the last session also i had discussed about the upper loops but this is something else so the upper loops the alphabets like say l the alphabets like d alphabets like you know f so all of these have upper loops by upper loops i mean so when you write these are the upper loop formations you know so l has so always remember you should have these loops in your alphabets in your handwriting i'm not saying a very broader one or a very uh, thinner one but you should have average amount of loops what they signify is that uh, your your uh, capability to learn is not restricted basically you have an open mind you want to learn more and more in your life okay you you all you are always flexible on uh, giving options giving solutions to any kind of problems so it's very good to to develop a sense of passion because you know it gives you option if you are just stuck with one thing no you can't be this is something that allows you to build in 10 10 to suppose 10 to 20 options and then you are allowed to work on your mind whether i am passionate about this or not all right so you should always have upper loops however if the loops are retraced by retraced i mean you majorly do not have these loops so these are the retraced you cannot see loops on the top so what do they mean is your your growth is restricted you are not using your creativity at all you just confined and happy with whatever condition you are in right now okay so uh, basically your thinking your thought process gets very rigid you are not adaptive to the opinions that people give you so yeah you need to have upper loops coming to the alphabet t and th so basically when you write t and h together we should always uh, see that the height of the letter t is shorter than the height of the letter h why being so it signifies ego and intelligence so if your t is shorter than h basically your intelligence is more than your ego these people they only they want to learn a lot in their life they want to keep learning they want to keep learning from every aspect of their life they are never satisfied with what they have learned and they actually grow in life okay so always remember your height of the t should be shorter than h even when you see a telegraph the te telegraph the 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 ka th is the the t is shorter to the h so you need to follow that uh, also the letter t it signifies your will power your confidence so anything even if you know you you want to build up a passion or you want to uh, uh, do good and better decision making you need to have that confidence and will power in yourself till the time you do not have it you cannot excel in anything you'll always keep doubting yourself so what happens is this letter t the bar to the t that we make is for your self image for your will power for your confidence so yeah letter t is a very important alphabet th is a very important word in graphology so these were the few aspects that, that i discussed about being passionate all right then now comes decision making so so now when we write on a plain page of paper all right we have to see that our handwriting is straight okay not everyone's handwriting is straight few come down few go up or few are wavy something like that so that's why when we take samples we ask you to write on a plain sheet of paper and not ruled so when uh, you know people having a straight baseline basically they are writing completely straight these people are very orderly and organized and they have a very very good planning beforehand they do not get confused they know what they have to achieve in life and they do not deviate from their goals so they have a very good decision making power and ultimately what happens when they once they start executing it they you know their confidence builds up it boosts them up even more eventually once they start doing the task they know that they are going to achieve the result and the will power automatically increases 
the second one is about the slant of the handwriting so few people have a forward slant few people have a backward few people have multiple slants and few people have straight slants by straight slant i mean supposedly if you're writing happy living it is straight like this all right it is not this it is not this straight like this so basically these people are very logical they are very practical and they think before whatever they do they think before whatever they say they think before whatever they plan so what happens is they know that whatever they have planned is going to get them a good result they have planned it very confidently so they are stuck to it they have reasoned out things and then they have come to a solution that is planning planning for it can be anything so and these people eventually when they have planned so much and come to a conclusion they do not take any hasty decisions there are, there are no last minute changes at all so these people uh, you know are very good at decision making they have a very good decision making power the last one is the alphabet f so alphabet f in itself stands for a better decision making planning and execution so when we write an f the cursive f so it's supposed to be this all right so there are two parts to it the upper loop and the bottom loop so if you have both the loops that means you have a good decision making you plan and you execute simultaneously okay, all right the upper loop is meant for your planning the lower loop is meant for execution so a lot of people miss out on the upper loop so these people mostly execute without planning so obviously there can be a lot of lot many chances that the execution that they are going tends to be wrong okay then a lot of times what happens they have only the upper loops but the bottom loop is missing they do not have the uh, they have only the planning skills but they do not have the execution skills so again coming back to the procrastination topic these people tend to be very lazy they do not want to use their brains or mind or they do not have the confidence or the will power to execute these things so always remember every quality goes hand in hand if it's will power there has to be confidence or vice versa if there's planning there has to be execution or vice versa without one like the coin has two sides these qualities also have two sides without one the other is incomplete a lot of people have both the upper loops missing okay usually in print handwriting we see that kind of an f so this is the example of that f this is the f so these people don't have a good planning nor a good execution they do not tend to plan and execute simultaneously so yeah these were the few uh, you know forms and uh, alphabets that i that signify how passionate can you be how can you improve passion in life and how can you do a better decision making in your life i'll repeat it once again alphabet i the dot has to be right on the top the pressure has to be medium on the page you should always have upper loops in your alphabets just try to have them make sure the height of the t is shorter to the h your baseline should be straight your slant should be straight and the alphabet f should have both the loops repeating again which i also said in the last session you cannot change and have them now or tomorrow or within a few days time you need to be undergone with a proper guidance with some graphologist who can guide you as to how to write and how your handwriting is and then only you can undertake the therapy and bring about these changes so these were the few advices so that's about it for the session today uh, i'm awaiting for few more uh, topics that you guys are going to suggest me or you guys want to hear from me uh, bye and take care all of you keep safe the lockdown is almost open now but still you need to keep safe for now bye and take care bye